Hello infinite beings, welcome back to another video. Most of you have been writing emails, asking ways we can survive this matrix collapse. And it all led to this video. Without wasting much of your 3D world. I said this because wherever your heart is, there is your soul. Through their media propaganda, they want you seduced and emotionally attracted to things of this third dimension, and then have you stuck in it. Living life in the timeless now is the prerequisite to becoming empowered by enough life force to fuel you, with no sustenance whatsoever. This is the perfect time to tap into your supreme power as unique souls having spiritual experience. This is the real secret that the so-called Breedarians and Sun Eaters will not tell you. No one want to expose the secrets of our true beingness. Immortality then also becomes a likely possibility when one is really insubscribed to time. Why would you age when you are outside of the laws and consequences of placing past, present, and future in your now, where only consciousness and the soul should be? Indeed, I think this is the biggest secret in the world today, living outside of time yet, for many, can be a very daunting endeavor. You may quickly realize that you are currently placing many things in the center of your consciousness which have no belonging in the now whatsoever. The body forms an integral part of the matrix program that serves to keep you centered on its flaws and limitations, which is what materialism is all about, instead of the soul. The body holds the DNA, which receives the input transmissions emitting from the programmed matrix. Also, take into account that your body and mind have their own programs which serve to drain you from energy when they are mistaken to be yourself. The conflicted thoughts that most of us experience are a pure product of the geometry that the body was created from, the phi ratio, or five. The pentagram is also symbolic of this ratio. We have five fingers and five senses because the creator used the phi ratio to construct us and everything on our planet, including Mother Earth herself. We are in a phi-based reality. With these five senses, taste, smell, vision, hearing, touch and the sixth sense which is awareness of one's body in space, we inadvertently create a world of conflict, because the five senses create a world that is divided and separated. Nothing resulting from the five senses is real in the first place, since the physical senses are part of the illusory construct of our virtual reality. Hence we are experiencing maya, that is illusion, through illusion. And that is why we are called to unlock the sixth sense which is the supreme awareness of our soul existence. However, bear with me, five is also an uneven number. When the odds are uneven, there is always a fight. The body, coupled with the DNA, also holds the programming of the parents, and in every sense, keeps the traits and characteristics of the parents dominant, as if there is nothing the individual can do about the so-called inherited genes. There is much power to behold coupled with the realization that the body is part of the matrix construct, which means that it is an illusion that we fuel because we believe it to be real. And by so doing, place it before consciousness, which is the only unchanging, real, aspect of this reality. Let's explore further the illusion of time that almost everyone is stuck in. The illusion of time is actually not so much about time, but more about finding yourself on different lines of space instead of the one, eternal, space that is now, that is, the present moment. For instance, anything belonging to the past, whether it be a past heartbreak, disease, the school that taught you or made you to believe, what mom and dad have turned you into, etc. These things that have a reputation of telling us who we are, only have power over us if we believe time to be real. In other words, parts of you that are trapped in past timelines, only remain fragmented when the consciousness believes that there is a separation between the past and the present. The famous quote that many spiritual teachers like to use is, all mind is useless. The mind is also part of the matrix and only works towards unity under the guidance of pure consciousness. So be careful of what you allow into your mind, the supreme consciousness of the all. Unfortunately, when the mind takes over consciousness, it becomes a reality distorter. This results in countless challenges, because the mind perceives the world as separate and not one with the soul. In other words, the mind is in conflict, arising from division. Remember the number 5, an uneven number, full of conflicting impulses. There is another illusion which the matrix use against us. This is the illusion of the present moment. The present moment also does not exist and should never exist in the now. The present moment belongs to an ever-fleeting moment we like to call now, yet we can never pin it down and say, here I have it. It is for forever changing and continuously flowing. The now, though, is something very few individuals on the planet can say they have felt, 
because it is only felt by those that have totally removed themselves from the material laws governing this 3D plane. All laws proposed by science on this plane are based on the five senses, and all stem from the limitations of the matrix, which serves only to diminish the true essence of a soul, in the sense that we unwillingly sells its infinite potential out. The now is only felt by those that are back in touch with the five elements that result from connecting with the soul center once again. In the light of consciousness all that comes from darkness, that is false, dies and becomes transmuted back to the five elements. This is another great secret of alchemy. Think in terms of algae, when it spreads, the algae attaches itself to everything, turning the worst of toxins back into usable energy. When the light of consciousness is turned on, it transmutes all that is not immortal. The only real things in the whole universe are the five elements, fire, water, earth, oxygen, and ether. Which also has much in common with our astrological signs. However, air and wind are not part of the five elements, as oxygen is the life-giving force in the form of air. The soul consists out of these five primordial elements, and the soul loses them temporarily when the five senses take over in duality. This results in the undermining of the soul and the five elements, due to the illusion that is taking the center stage over one's consciousness, whilst milking it of everything that is valuable. Therefore powerful nethers, infinite leaving seeds of the multiverse realm of consciousness, it is time to take back your soul from within the matrix. Take what belongs to you from the energy suckers. You have been the battery powering this system for thousands of years, and now, Mother Nature is saying, enough is enough. For those of you who will doubt this, think of a battery. The battery has two poles, negative and positive. The positive needs the negative to generate power, hence the positive has no power without the negative. The same counts for the matrix reality that we find ourselves in, the matrix needs us to remain negative terminals in order to keep itself energized. The greatest revelation is that we live in a system that is parasitizing on our soul's energy. If we are negative and the matrix is positive, then how can the matrix still have any power when we turn ourselves into positive terminals? So, you can compare this reality to a battery. Most souls in this realm are negative and give their energy away to a positively charged matrix program. How do we do this? The matrix is set up to make us lose touch with our universal cosmic selves, aka our souls. They want you in deep depression and stress, so you can constantly give away your sexual energy to this evil entities. Take back your power now. All these messes started from our childhood programming. After birth, our parents take the center stage, together with the control systems of the matrix. From religious doctrines, keeping people fearful of hell, when we are already leaving in hell. Indoctrination and conformity disguised as education in primary school. Our life partners, involuntarily, keep us unaware and unrebellious against the matrix. Further indoctrination and conformity in high school and college, now coupled with brainwashing, unstimulating jobs. Social media, further layers of this virtual reality. Politics, dividing people and keeping the matrix in place. False teachings in books that are aggressively promoted by the mainstream. Secret societies constantly conspiring against the people, enslaving their minds and souls. True knowledge kept hidden from the masses. We end up on a quest seeking meaning for ourselves, because the disconnection from divinity goes too far back to remember something very simple. The pure, innocent, potential at the moment of birth. Once you release yourself from all that is not real, you turn on yourself back to your true self, and you are free to create once again the reality that you want. After reclaiming your consciousness from the deep pits of the matrix, you can start exercising influence over the fake reality and liberate your soul. Once becoming a positive terminal, you will start using your energy to your own goals, instead of unknowingly giving it to the matrix. The time of cosmic consciousness and mass awakening is already here. So stay strong, walk in silence, stay high vibrational, spread love and not hate. Peace love and life.